Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I'm doing a little job here today. It's getting to be more common. Got another one of these crazy gooseneck manifolds that needs resurfaced. So, this one here you might get clear on a belt sander, but uh, it's going to mill it anyway. The, uh, the pocket up in here is shot. See the groove there. There's a seal ring in here. It has worn that out and it won't seal up anymore. So you gotta bore this out and put a sleeve in it to get it back to fit this nice so it'll seal up and quit blowing the exhaust gas and turbo charger boost drive pressure out. Of course there's nothing machine to indicate off of here, so just gonna do the hunt and peck slow advance method to find the natural center and I'll uh, get it cut out to something true and I can cut a piece of this tube to put in there and come back and bore it to fit this while this is all still set up here. I got the, uh, the bolt holes that are in line are lined up on my angle slot or my 90 degree slot in the mill table so that's what's got my reference this will be true so let me get to cutting all right so as you can see my boring tool has got it mostly cleaned up in there y'all can see that side better than i can but It's uh, too small a diameter to make a sleeve, so I'm gonna make one more pass and see if that'll get it big enough to be able to put a sleeve in. Well, there it is. Hole is bored out. Um, I took enough material out. You can see the witness marks there in the back. That uh, that'll be enough for a bushing to not be so thin that it just crushes and comes back out or works itself out from the heating and cooling. So. Off to the Monarch, and I'll get this turned down to the 2332 that it needs to be to go in there. And uh, I'll come back and put it in, and then bore this back to fit this original size. Well, let's take a look at why this manifold is in need of repair. It's barely touching right there on that one. This one here is not touching it. And I, well, I guess right there at that bolt hole is fairly scratched. Uh, this one's touching top and bottom. Uh, this one's touching quite a bit on the top, just barely on the bottom. This has the new slip fit bushing that I put in there. I bored that out after I put it in. Take another 10 off here and see what I get. Dial in 10 on my table.
took uh, 55 thousandths to clean that one up. It's a little spot right there that didn't quite get. And a little line there, but I'm not going to go anymore just to get those spots. The gasket's got plenty to seal it. I just give it a little extra pinch. So, right now it looks good. So, slip joints repaired. It's got a flat face. It's not all bound up this time, so maybe it'll last longer. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see this little project on the GNL knocked out. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later. In case no one noticed, special thanks to Pierre and Phil for the awesome jacks. Use them all the time.